morning, you guys. Oh, so I think I picked up a cold from someone at the gym yesterday. I am like trying to clear my throat and my nose all morning. I slept like crap. My eyes are puffy, like look. They're so puffy right now. Mm. I laid there for like three hours trying to go to sleep last night. I'm filming rough right now. I'm having some water and coffee and then hopefully it's just like a morning cold like this happens to me like sometimes I like off a cold in the morning and they'll go away like two hours later cold but um I feel a little worse this time so I'm thinking I picked up an actual cold which I'm hoping is not the case <sighs> It is so cold. Oh my gosh. Yesterday I was wearing a tank top, you guys. Ugh. <coughs> it is 28 degrees outside. Oh my gosh. It's been like snowing some flurries and stuff. So it's not sticking because it's been so warm the past few days. But it's definitely even snowing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ugh. And I'm cold. This is not good. Alright, so I'm about to head to the gym. I'm waiting for my car to warm up a little bit. Um, I'm just doing a couple exercises today. Today's supposed to be my light day. Normally, I wouldn't actually physically go into the gym on my light days, but I really want to use the Smith machine. Um, yeah, I really want to use a Smith machine to do some glute exercises, so that's why I'm going in. Um, so I'm going there, I'm going to do the four glute exercises, and then I'm going to do some cardio, because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, because I felt, you know, I couldn't finish my workout. And then I'm going to go home, and then do some abs at home, and then that's it. Very light day today. I might do one lower back exercise because I really it's what I really wanted to do yesterday, but I didn't get to do it. <coughs> now, I really like doing my lower back because that helps with the glutes. Like when you really want to round your tush out, lower back exercises is key. That's what you do like the dimples on your lower back. Like I've noticed since I've been working out that I now have like those dimples, which shows like the muscle is building and stuff. Oh man, it's so cold. Oh. Let's go. This just will not stay. But I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a coat. And I'm still cold. Ugh. All right. So I have two videos uploaded, but they are scheduled because I'm trying to get myself all set up. And um, yeah, so I've just been scheduling videos so I can get myself on a schedule. And I really have to start pre-filming for when we move. So that's why I'm doing that a lot. I'm doing a lot of pre-filming. Um, I'm set up on videos two weeks out so far, but I need like, I'd say six weeks of videos um, all set up. So. I have a long way to go. So, I mean, I guess I could stretch it out and do two to three videos. Like, two, I'll even stretch, I'll do two videos a week for like the time, like, I won't be able to film. So, let's see, that would be, let's be safe and say four, no, five weeks. I so, five weeks. Um, two videos a week. So, I need to pre film 10 videos on top of like all my other videos keeping up with, you know, that I have to keep up with. So, um, yeah, I gotta pre-film all those. I just have so much to do. I, I know we're technically not moving out until the last week in April, but um, I need to think about it. So February is halfway over and then comes March which is when I'm doing a lot of my filming because of April, we're gonna be packing and cleaning the house and yada, yada, yada. So I really don't have a lot of time. It seems like, you know, two months is a lot, you know, two and a half months, but 
when you break it down, it's really not when you're doing the kind of, like, the kind of big move we're doing. Like, if we were just moving to another state, like, on, on mainland, like, that'd be a whole other story, you know? Um, we wouldn't have to go a month and a half, you know, minimum without our stuff. And that's minimum, so but it's likely going to be, like, two to two and a half months that we won't have any of our things. So, except for, you know, what we put in, you know, a couple of suitcases. So, um... When you're doing a big move like that, you really have to do a lot more preparation than when you're just, say, moving a few states away. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just I have a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, I already have my last and final mainland appointment scheduled for freelancing. My last job is going to be on the 3rd of June. We leave eh, a few days after that. Maybe the next day, maybe a couple days later. I don't know. It all depends on, like, when the military says we're leaving because they choose like okay you know we're getting you a ticket for this day and you're flying out of this area. like we don't choose any of that so my last job is June 3rd I'm gonna order a Zuka I'm in when we get our tax return when I get my portion then I'm gonna buy the Zuka I want to like do other stuff with it <clears throat> like revamp some stuff but um, I don't want my train case to break and I love my train case, so yeah, I have to buy a Zuka so I, because the military won't transport anything consumable, aka makeup, so they won't transport it even though it's part of my job. It is my job. Um, so I have to pack up my entire collection into like one thing or like that and like, you know, anything that I don't think will break, you know, um, and check baggage. I'll put in there, but anything like I'm afraid will break has to go in the Zuka. So, yeah, I have so much work ahead of me. I have to pre-pack. Like, when I get my Zuka, I'm going to, like, pack to see, like, how everything's going to fit, what makeup I have to get rid of, what I can put, you know, in another suitcase. Huh, it is going to be a struggle. So, oh, nice parking spot. Anyway, so I'm here at the gym. I'm going to go in, do my quick workout, and then I'm going to come out talk to you guys some more and then go home and do laundry I really do laundry like all my gym clothes are dirty I'm wearing dirty gym clothes right now I know that's disgusting but you know what I'm not gonna risk getting hypothermia by wearing shorts and this coldness I don't own three pair I only own three pairs of workout pants so when you're working out three days in a row you know it just yeah I'm so lazy today I went to the gym but I'm just so tired. Oh, I see a catch up on sleep. I'm so tired. Anyway, I was I was gonna film a video tonight, but I just don't think I can. I'm just so tired. I meant to film it tomorrow. I don't know. No, I don't have time to film tomorrow. I don't. I have to film tonight. Gosh darn. Uh, so darn. I'll figure it out. But anyway, so. So I check in with you guys. Oh, really, not a lot going on. I can't even talk straight. There's really not. There's really not a lot going on. My husband is at his weekly meeting for work. And he's going to come home and we'll have dinner and then we're going to go to bed. Yay! I really should film a video. I mean, it's just... So here's my thing. Like, I don't have a problem with the video I'm filming. I'm just filming, like, a and a from a while back. But... It's like getting ready for the video, like doing, like doing my makeup and such. So I'm just like, nah, don't want to do it. So, I don't know. Hey guys, I have not vlogged at all today. I don't know what's been going on with me. Like, it started the night we got back from our family's house from the Super Bowl. Like every single night now. Like, um, it'll take me hours to fall asleep. I mean, it's not lack of physical activity because I'm working out every single day. It is, I mean, I'm taking a sleeping aid, I'm eating healthy, I'm not, like, overthinking or anything at night, I literally just lay there, and lay there, and lay there, and lay there, and lay there for hours, and the next day I know it's, like, 3 a.m., 
and then I'm falling asleep finally, and then the girls wake up at like six, between six and seven, and I'm just, so I've just been a lump on the log all day long, haven't pulled my phone out, I haven't done anything. I don't know what is going on with me. Like, all the things they say, oh, well, maybe it's this. Like, that's not the issue. Like, maybe you're not getting enough exercise. Maybe you're, wor- maybe you're working out too close to bed, but I've been working out in the morning lately. And so, it's not that I'm working out too close to bed. It's not lack of physical activity. It's not lack of sleep aid. I'm taking one of those. It's not, I'm not having caffeine late in the day. In fact, I haven't even been drinking my cups of coffee in the morning. Like, it's just been so bad. I don't know what's going on. I can't think of any reason, any scientific or physical reason or anything why I'm not falling asleep. I don't know. And it's not even like lack of being tired. Like I'm super tired. I just can't fall asleep. So. Oh, the popcorn's ready? Ugh.